Hello, my name is King Azure and welcome to another video where in today's video I'm going to show you how to build the most expensive house in Minecraft. Okay, so I'm going to set a little bit of a ground rule. One, I won't be covering almost any nether blocks or end blocks because those are outside the overworld. The only exceptions being Ancient Debris and the Dragon Egg, since those are very rare blocks. And also, rare blocks as in very hard to find, and if you do find them, you're very lucky. And expensive because it takes a lot of time, a lot of resources and stuff to make the items. And some of the blocks listed in this video only are obtained from mob events. So, those are the ground rules I will be placing in this video over what I consider rare blocks. Anyways, let's get right into the tutorial. Also, one other thing, I will probably be using some common blocks for this house. But not completely. I'll still be using the rare blocks, but sometimes I do need to mix some common blocks in so that melds well together. I hope you all don't mind. But anyways, regardless, let's get into the tutorial. So the first thing we are going to do is assemble a palette over what we're going to be using in today's video, such as this palette. So this is our build palette we're going to be using in this video, for the rare blocks at least. There will again be some common blocks mixed in, but that's because, you know, some of these don't match well together, so I'm going to have to mix in some common blocks in order for it to all blend together. And I'll be stating why all these blocks are rare with screenshots as well. So the beehive is a very rare block as you don't find it commonly. It's the more common of the rare blocks, but it's also very hard to get unless you want to get attacked by bees. And that's the beehive. For the large fern, the only way you can find this and obtain it is is by going to a taiga village and finding and finding a chest with one large fern inside. Now may you may be asking, what do you mean? This is a very common block. Well, if you've ever tried to shear a large fern in order to obtain it or you silk touch and stuff like that, you only get a small fern. The reason why is because you get a small fern. <laughs> so I'll place in some footage of me finding this thing. It took a long time just to find one. So, you can imagine how rare it is. Tinted glass can only be made by the player. I do believe the recipe is amethyst, crystals, and glass. Now, glass is easy to get, but amethyst crystals, they only generate in amethyst geodes, so it's very difficult to get, which is why this block is here. The next block is only found in naturally in fossils, both nether and regular fossils. The regular fossils you can only find underground. Sometimes you can find them above ground, but again, it's very rare. These you can only find in warm oceans in a coral reef. 
both of which are very rare biomes, so that's why these two are here. And also, another thing, you need Silk Touch to obtain these, and you need to have them near water. Otherwise, they will turn gray. So yeah, pretty rare. This is the only nether block I'll be using this video. Just because it is rare on its own. And the reason why it's an exception to other nether blocks, because most nether blocks in the nether are very common. This, however, is not. The most you'll find is at Y level 15, but even then, they're still pretty rare. This is a very special block right here. The Weather Rose. The only way you can obtain the Weather Rose is if you spawn a weather, which again is already pretty rare because you need weather skulls, which are pretty difficult to get. And once you spawn the weather, you the weather has to kill a mob while it's attacking everything. And once that mob is killed, there will be a single weather rose. Which is why this block is very rare. This... Blue Orchid is only found in swamps. It's the only place you can ever find it. And that's why it's rare. As I said, this can only be found in Amethyst Geodes. And I love this. I love this block because it's musical. Now, you might be surprised to find clay and mossy cobblestone on this list. The reason why they're rare is clay doesn't spawn in very big quantities and they're more spread out in the world, so they're kind of rare to find. Which is why you don't often find a whole lot of brick structures unless you're dealing with creative. And mossy cobblestone can only be naturally found in dungeons and in taiga forests and taiga villages. Only places you can naturally find mossy cobblestone. And these were just introduced in the 1.19 update. The only way you can obtain these is, again, a mob event. Basically, and I'll put some footage on the screen here. Basically, you can only really obtain these blocks if you have a frog eat a magma cube. And these are... Found in all the frog variants, tropical, cold, and I guess temperate frogs. They basically have to eat the magma cubes in order for you to get them. So, pretty rare block. Stained glass. Naturally, you can only find in villages. Specifically, village churches. And this goes also for regular pane glass. This is, again, introduced in the 1.19 update. If you remember from episode 13 and 14 of this boss and P, I'll link in the iCard in the corner of the screen. Basically, I tried searching for a mangrove forest, and they're so rare. They're so rare to find that, you know, it can be difficult to obtain this. And I put it here 
Also, because it's my favorite word to use. These are the mushroom blocks. You can only obtain them with Silk Touch and from mushrooms, which are already pretty rare, except for the Mushroom Island biomes, but even then, those are rare biomes. Not really anymore with the 1.18 update, but they're still pretty rare. The Dragon Egg, you can only obtain after defeating the Ender Dragon. And one other block I forgot to mention here. The one other block I forgot to mention is Podzol. Now you may be thinking, Podzol must be so common since it's like a different version of grass. However, Podzol you can only find in certain taiga biomes such as old growth pine taiga which is a new name for the old mega taiga and you can also only find it in bamboo jungles again there's screenshots of where you can find this and also one other thing is you can't spread this It doesn't spread to other blocks. And you can't even grow anything on it. Like, I'm clicking as hard as I can, but you can't grow anything on it. It also doesn't spread to other blocks, so you can't get it like that. And the only way you can really obtain Hotzo by growing it is... By taking a spruce tree. Okay, so... Basically... It's the only other way to obtain Podzol other than using... Your shovel and self-touch... To mine it is by planting a 2x2... Two two spruce tree and then growing it and then you'll get... The Podzol. Which again, you'll have to use... A silk touch shovel for. So it's a pretty rare block, and the reason why I'm using this is it's very good for like gardens and stuff like that. They have like nice rich soil and stuff like that. But, anyways, let's build this house.
Okay, so it wound up just being a building a house video. So, this is the most expensive house in Minecraft. I'm going to give you all a tour. So over here is a garden house. Another one of my hacks being used again. And here's the weather roses and the blue orchids, the rarest flowers in the game. Then up here, I actually changed the level of this slightly so it would fit more. And I put tinted glass windows because privacy pretty much and also to separate the light sources there's the living room so nice it's got a fish aquarium and there's also a record player over here so i'm gonna insert a disc here and then here is the kitchen nice painting and here is the dining area and up here is the bedroom now the thing is this house took a very long time to complete so I hope you all enjoy the video thank you all for watching if you liked this video please leave a like subscribe, click the notification bell, and check out my socials down below. I've got Twitter, Instagram. In fact, you can send me fan art over Instagram. You can also send it over Discord or Twitter. I don't mind either. I also have Discord as well. I have a public server. Feel free to join. In case you want to chat with me over an idea or something. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I really enjoyed making this house, even though it took forever. But that's the end of the video. Bye!